Hi, this is Max for Spring 2015 CS61A. Uh, we're going to talk about discussion two, which covered recursion and tree recursion. Uh, so specifically, we're going to talk about the problem has sum. So in this has sum problem, uh, the TAs want to print a bunch of uh, want to print a bunch of handouts. So sum handouts. And however, we only have a one printer that prints n copies at a time and one copies at a time and a second printer that's going to be able to print n2 copies at a time. So now we need to figure out a way, is it even possible for us to print the exact number of handouts that we want to print, right? Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look. So we're going to do a recursive, we're going to make a recursive function. In this case, we're actually going to tackle the second part of the problem, which is asking us to solve it using a helper function. Um, so a helper function is going to let us, when we talk about recursion, a helper function is going to let us add a little bit of state to our problem. So it's going to let us keep track of something that we weren't able to keep track of, just given the variables that we have up here. So when we make a recursive call, pretty much the only thing we're going to be able to pass into our next frame are some changed version of the, uh, the variables that we pass in up here. Okay, so we're going to define some function helper. And let's think about, let's first think about how our tree recursion or what we could use helper to do. So our tree recursion can build out, so right now we don't have a way to keep track of our, um, sort of the number of pages that we've currently printed. So if we think about every time we make a recursive call, we're making some decision, we're deciding whether or not we want to print with our n minus one printer, or if we want to print with our n two printer, uh, we start with no pages printed, right? And at our first fork, at our first recursive call, we're either going to print with our N1 printer or N2 printer. After that, we're going to be able to print with our either our N1 printer again or N2 printer. And so our recursion is going to sort of go like this. And you can sort of see how this recursive tree might build out from uh, zero. So if you think about each level of this tree as the current pages that we've printed, now we're able to construct some some helper function. Let's uh, let's make a helper function that says current pages. I'm just going to write current. We'll erase this tree recursion stuff down here. Okay, great. So so now what's our base case? So if we pass in if we have our current pages that is exactly equal to the number of pages that we want, right? Which is equal to sum we've managed to get to the correct number of pages, then we can just simply return true. However, another base case that we have is if we're trying to print, if we uh, our current is has overshot and is greater than the number of pages that we want to print, then um, we're going to return false. So the first thing that you want to think about when you're defining a recursive function is what are our simplest inputs to this function that uh, that is just going to let us automatically return right okay so so now we've defined our base cases this helper keeps track of the number of pages that we've printed up until the the decision the nth decision that we've made or whatever whether or not which printer we're going to use right and so now we can return Since we're dealing with booleans here, we're going to either return that we were successful by printing with our n minus one uh, printer, or we were successful with printing from our n2 printer, right? And now we're going to go back into our has sum, and we're going to return helper zero because at the very beginning we have no no pages printed. All right, so let's take a look at some sample inputs to this. So let's look at this first sample input. Our has sum, we're trying to print one page, but we have three and five, we have printers that print three and five pages at a time, respectively. All right, so we can take a look here. We're going to return helper zero. So we'll pass in, we, we start with zero pages, right? Our current is not equal to sum, so we're not going to execute this base case. Our current is not greater than sum, so we're not going to execute this base case. And so now we're going to try printing from our first printer. 
and so we'll execute what we get here. Our first printer is going to go to, if we just use our first printer, we're going to print three pages, so we're going to get to three, and so that's greater than our one page that we're trying to print, so we can return false, so we'll think about this as false. Or, um, our helper, and we're going to print zero plus n2, which is five, and so we're going to fail this case as well. So once you hit our base cases, then we're done with our recursion and we can exit out. And so now this is going to be sort of false and false. Okay, so now let's think about what happens if we instead call our has sum with five and three, or five, three, and three. So we're going to call helper. So we start with zero pages, right? And uh, zero pages not equal to the five we want to print. We haven't overshot our pages yet. So now we can try printing from our first printer. Helper is going to print, uh, it's going to call zero with the plus three, right? So it's going to call helper three. Now helper three is going to go back up here. We haven't yet hit the number of pages that we want to print, and we haven't overshot. So now we're going to try printing again from our, uh, from our first printer. So we'll use, so we start with zero, where we've used n1. Now we're going to try n1 plus n1, right? Then we have three, and then we'll get to six. So now we're calling helper with the argument six. Six has overshot, so we can return false out of this. So false. All right, so this one didn't work. So now let's try, let's try to print from our second printer, back from when we had three pages. So we sort of take a step back. Now we're going to print n2 is five, so we will have printed eight pages. Ah, again, we've overshot, so we can replace this with false. Now, neither of these were successful, so we, there's no way we're going to be able to print from, uh, we're going to hit our goal exactly with our n equals 3, or with, uh, by using our first printer. So let's try printing from our second printer, n2. In this case, n2 is equal to 5, right? So we can take a look. Our current is equal to 5, and our sum is equal to 5, so we can return true. And now since one of these returned true, we're going to return true from our helper function here and this is going to return true, which it does. So we expect both of these inputs, and this is how you should sort of go about approaching these problems that ask you to build a helper function. Think about sort of how the tree recursion is going to work, and then use your helper function and define a recursive helper function that adds a little bit of state. So in this case, the state that we added, the thing that we were able to keep track of with our helper function that we weren't able to keep track of with has sum, is the number of pages that we've printed at each of our decision steps. Okay, if you have questions about this, feel free to post in the follow-up or post on uh, as a comment in this YouTube video. Okay, great, thank you.